Welcome to the Waycross coverage of today's football games. Actually, I have a double header here between the 7th graders of Pleasant Run and the Woods Warriors. And then the uh, second game will be the 8th graders between the two schools. So the game will be played today in uh, it's kind of a drizzle. It's um, the remnants of Hurricane Irma, which caused us so much trouble down in Florida. It's made its way north. And there isn't much wind, but there has um, been kind of misting and drizzling and occasional rain. So it's going to be a wet field today. But the Winton Woods Warriors are wearing the white jerseys with the black pants. And the Pleasant Run Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, we need three volunteers for the chain game. Yellow jerseys. Against the game, we have uh, volunteers for the chains. Then seat in the house, go over the far side of the field, the chains are laid there. Around the 10 yard line. Okay, we have two volunteers. Thank you. We need one more, one more volunteer. And we are good. Thank you very much. These games consist of four eight-minute quarters. Uh, there are no kickoffs, so we'll just begin playing on the 35-yard line. Now they're after conducting a coin flip. like Winton Woods won the toss. They've elected to defer. And a handshake by the team captains, and we're going to be ready to go. There aren't too many fans today. Weather is the thing keeping a lot of them away. The cheerleaders showed up. The cheerleaders, the football players. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Northwest High School. Today, the Pleasant Run Knights welcome the Winton Woods Warriors here to Rumpke Field. Winton Woods won the toss and deferred to the second half, so Pleasant Run will start the game on offense. And the Winton Woods Middle School is in Green Hills. Those Winton Woods middle school students will move on eventually to Winton Woods High School, and the Pleasant Run students will end up at here at Northwest High School, which is where we're playing today. So you could consider the Pleasant Run to be the home team here. An interesting fact is um, young people in the, this age group, they, they vary in height a lot. <laughs> and you look out here at the Lindenwood Warriors, and some of the players are very large, and some of them are not. Do that in pleasant run time. So you look at the size there, number 77. That's a seventh grader. <laughs> towers over some of his teammates. All right, so Wendy Woods won the coin toss, but elected to defer. So we have Pleasant Run starting out on the 135 yard line.
I'm not sure what the delay is here. Oh, they're getting the soccer goal out of the way. Okay, down to the end zone. Yeah, down. There we are. There's the soccer goal. And we've got a coach and a, one of their players scooting it along the field turf. All right, we are ready to begin. Okay, first play for the Pleasant Run Knights. <laughs> Number seven, the quarterback was Diego Young. Now we all start off with penalty. Penalty flags on the play. Either an offside or a procedure. Yeah. Offsides, Wentwoods. Right, left end for Wendell Woods. Jumped the ball. And the clock still hasn't started running yet. No pleasant run is on the 40. Man in motion, hands of man in motion. Comes. Picks up four years. Here's number 20, Sean Dickerson. He handed it to the man in motion and came along the line. The pursuit by the line was good. I'm going to be second and one for the Knights. Yeah, the second and one because they gave up, um, when Woods gave up five on the offside play. Well, well, they're offside. Penalty flag on the play. Offsides, Wentwoods. 48 for the Warriors jumped. They'll give the Knights a first down. Ball spotted at the 49 yard line. First down for the Pleasant Run Knights. Now they're starting on the 49 yard line. 49 yard line. Takes their man in motion, hands it back, half back, and he picks up the three yards. Okay. Ended at number 42. Uh, number, four, number 42, number 42 is Noah. Give me second name. Cutting against the green. Comes around. Oh, nice play. Number 14 for the Warriors. Probably yeah, it's going to come back. Okay, it was number 21, A.J. Goins. There's a penalty flag on the play, holding against the Knights. Can we see the hold in here? They pitched it out there. Good one on one tackle. Didn't matter. The play was coming back. It was still a good play. Third 
from the Indian quarterback and brought for a short pass. And never quite had it. Need to go to 7, 15, 16 yards for first down. Got back. And Jay, back Brady's to Buddy Ridgewell. It's back to the original line of scrimmage of the fourth and ten. Outside of O! 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 Pass. Oh, number 20 for the Warriors managed to get himself uh, between the quarterback and receiver and almost was able to grab it. Good play. Good anticipation. They counted too many men on the field for. Penalties too many men on the field for the Knights. Yeah, for the Knights. Yeah, too many men. They'll make it first and five for the Warriors. Morgan, quick, easy five yards for the Warriors. Now we got first and five. Quick handoff. Their first down. The keeper, flag on a play. Quarterback keeper, I think he picked up the first down, but there's a flag. We have a penalty flag on the play. Uh, I think you're going to call this against the Warriors. Yeah, illegal, illegal procedure. Uh, procedure Negated a nice play by the Warriors. Warriors. So you couldn't see the penalty on the replay unless there were two men in motion. It's a gainer by number 20 for the Warriors. There's a penalty flag on the play. The ball carrier was Casey Spears. And this one's coming by another procedure. An illegal formation against the Warriors. An illegal formation against the Warriors that time. <laughs> Warriors had something good going, and now they're going backwards. So let's see if they can turn this ship around here. They've been getting good offensive gains on their plays, just have been getting called back on these procedures two in a row now. Yeah, 
Handoff. Picks it up about six yards. Casey Spears was an off carrier. It'll be second long. Second down and about 15 yards to go. That was good defensive play by number 44 for a pleasant run. Uh, the quarterback faked the handoff and then kept it himself, but Terrence Johnson on the defense was waiting for him and he went nowhere. So now we have third down and 14. Let's see what the Warriors can come up with here. A feet of daring or perhaps a pass. Let's see. Handoff. Yep. The quarterback faked the handoff and kept it, but uh, that play is not fooling the pleasant run nights. We've been on that one. So now we got fourth. Fourth and 12 yards to go. Pass on the field and right. He's open. He's got it. He's, he's loose. He's got a touchdown. Oh my! Fourth and long. The Winton Woods Warriors go for a pass. The coverage was there, but the pass was good. The receiver just outfought the defender. They tried to tackle him. They had him, but he got away. And it's six points for the Winton Woods Warriors. That was a great play. Try a two-point conversion here. Quick handoff. Oh no, nope, he's denied. Because so West seems to have those runs up the middle covered in, so far in the game, but they didn't cover this pass well enough to stop it. Pass led to the six points for the Woods Warriors. Here's the replay. Quarterback goes in. He's got protection. He throws it down the field. The defender fell down. They, they had him there, but the number seven couldn't hang on. And the Winton Woods Warriors receiver, it's tall fellow you can see there. Uh, made a good catch, good run. So now the pleasant run Knights will try it again on offense. Woods cheerleaders. Oh, fumble. And I do believe the Woods Warriors got that. Yes, number 47 for the Warriors. And the defenders came up with the ball. Quarterback didn't seem to have real good control of that ball. And he lost it. That's a could be a very costly mistake. They've given the ball over to the Warriors here on the 35 yard line. Here's the replay. Yeah, the 
Got stripped. Volker just got stripped. Good, good pursuit by the Knights. Yeah, I think he might, he might have stolen that ball on the tackle. One of the defenders came out with that ball. But it doesn't look like they're going to call. But yeah, he, great. Yeah, they, they stripped that ball right out of the ball carrier's hands. Yeah, that that should be a turnover. But they're not going to call it. But uh, Yeah, that ball carrier, the ball is in the hands of the Pleasant run player before the ball carrier was down. Well, these runs up the middle are not working against Pleasant Run. Third and ten now for the Warriors. Oh, <laughs> oh the pass rush. Quarterback went back to pass, and very quickly the coverage, or the, rather the protection collapsed, and he's down. So. Fourth down, facing the Warriors. They're out there on the 42-yard line now. And the Warriors have called a timeout. Talk over a plan, I would think. It's fourth down and 15 yards. It's actually more like 17. The scoreboard says, uh, now they've changed it to 18, yeah. Thirty-nine seconds left in the first quarter. The Warriors have a six-point lead, and the Warriors now trying to decide what to do here with their fourth and eighteen. And as I've mentioned, runs up the middle are not working. They've had some success going outside, and of course, that pass play worked like a charm. And that was on a fourth down. They're scoring a uh, pass. All right, it's fourth and 18 for the Warriors. I'm gonna try the pass again. Going down the field to number, oh, but it's number 18, the same fellow who caught the touchdown, but the ball was over his head. So the ball turns over. The Pleasant Run on downs. The Pleasant Run will get the ball out at about their own 45-yard line. Or 42 to be specific. off the man in motion. Weaving his way through. Uh, put him down, I think, at about the 45 yard line. Mark him out of the 46, so it's a four yard gain. Picks up about four yards in the second and six for the Knights. That's the end of the quarter. Thought maybe they'd get a little playoff before the quarter ended, but no. So that's the end of the first quarter. And the score is six to nothing for the Winton Woods Warriors. Now we'll change directions. And go from our right to our left. Both 
schools brought their cheerleading squads. Right below us here, are the in the green jackets are the Wintonwood Warriors cheerleaders, and then uh, over to our right in the blue sweaters are the Northwest cheerleaders. Those are your Wintonwood cheerleaders you're looking at. And just like the football players are the future over at Wintonwood High School, so it's the cheerleading squad. So in a few years, they'll be cheering over there in Forest Park at Wintonwood's High School, and uh, Wintonwood's High School cheerleaders are a lot of fun to watch. They they flip, uh, they jump. It's, it's great stuff. All right, second down play for Pleasant Run. Put the back hands off number 20. He's got some room, yes, first down. First down for Pleasant Run. It was Deshaun Dickerson with the ball. Good blocking on that play. Here's a replay. Quarterback hands it off number 20 in motion. He turns up the field. A nice hole to run through. Good work by the offensive line. And then a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle there by number eight for the Warriors. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. I think the quarterback wanted to pass, but the um, pass rush. Just uh, mowed him down. Yeah, barely had time to think about what he was going to do there. But he held on to the ball. And off the man in motion. Oh, goodness. What a hit. Number 84 for the Warriors. Caught him. Yeah, here comes number 21, and pow. Number 84 nailed him up top. You'll remember that hit, I think. All right, third down and 13. Try pass oh, over the head. He had an open man out there in the corner. Uh, number 42 is open, but the pass is over his head. So was quarterback Diego Young was trying to throw to Noah Calvin. Pass intended for number 42, Noah Calvin calls it complete. Really fourth down for the Knights. Fourth and 13. They're going to execute a punt. At least uh, they're lining up for one at least. Timeout. Pleasant run. Timeout. Pleasant run. Pleasant run had LaShawn Dickerson back there to punt. And it looked like it was all lined up right, but then the coaches decided they wanted to call timeout. Maybe there was something in the alignment, or I want to think this over some more. Stop raining for the moment. It's pleasant, uh, temperature-wise. The temperature is probably in the low to mid-60s. Uh, very light breeze. 
field is in good condition. This is field turf stuff, and it drains very well, as long as it's not a super heavy rain. I haven't seen any slippage by the players to speak of. Okay, back in the punt formation here. And the Warriors have a man back. Number 20 is deep for the Warriors to take the punt. Going to an out of bounds. And they're going to mark it at about the 33 yard line. The Warriors will now try it out here, going from my left to a right, starting at their own 33 yard line. Handoff, quick handoff. And the runner picked up uh, a good uh, what, seven yards. Good, good play. The quarterback did a quick handoff here. Number 20. It's one of the few runs up the middle that has done well for the Warriors. <laughs> he handed off to number 20 again, and number 20 ran into a brick wall, so he bounced out in reverse direction and got back to essentially the line of scrimmage where they started, so it'll make it third and about two. Shotgun formation here. And the quarterback's coming left. He's going to keep it. Uh, he's short. He's short. Both the run Knights pursued that well. The quarterback faked the handoff, kept it, but you can see. Both the run had that one covered. So that makes it fourth and. Short. They'll make it fourth and two for the Warriors. And they're going to run a play. Quick handoff. Ooh, that's going to be close. Be really close. I think he's got it. Quick handoff. Kind of moving pile thing. Yep, yeah, first down. Moving the chains. Didn't make it by much, but made it by enough.
quarterback keeper. He's got room. Oh, look at that move. Shoved out of bounds at about 41. That was a nice run by number eight. Oh, the flag on the play. Be a shame for when Woods, this was called back. Yes, called back. Big one. Let's see. They're looking for a hold here. Right. Yeah, I think they call, yeah, I think they called that lineman for dragging down the pleasant run player. Well, that negates a very nice run by Winwood Warriors quarterback. So now they got first down and 16 yards to go. Quick hitter. Off tackle play. Picks up about four yards. In second and 13 for the Warriors. Second and 13. Quarterback keeper. Boy, nice, another nice run. The Wooden Woods has had their most success on the outside. Good to be. They did a nice job of sealing off the, up the first down. end, the um, right end of the Pleasant Run Knights there. Free up the quarterbacks. They pick up, uh, pick up first down. I thought it was a tad short, but I was wrong. Nice. Well, the Warriors are in business. They've moved into Pleasant Run end of the field on the Pleasant Run 46. Going deep. Did not connect with his receiver. Receiver seems to want a penalty flag. Yeah, there was no interference there. To the Quarterback keeper. No, that one didn't work. Picked up about a yard. in the first half. For the most part so far, it's been kind of a defensive struggle around midfield with the exception of the Winton Woods touchdown. Oh, flag. Procedure, procedure against 
the Warriors. Stop the clock at 55 seconds left. We started the clock now. Third and 14 for the Warriors. There's our two timeouts left. They seem in no hurry. A quick handoff. Picks up a few yards. Fox keeps running. We're down to about 20 seconds left. Uh, timeout is called. The Knights call, called that timeout. Because it's fourth down. The Wynwood's coach. here on fourth fourth and about 11. Let's we'll see what happens here. The pleasant run called a timeout. There's only 20 seconds left in the half. Okay, gonna give him, oh, they got him. Oh, that works pleasant run play. It stops the clock on the change of possession. Yeah, this is a full-blown pass rush here, and it is. Two people had to, had the quarterback. So that's pleasant runs ball. They get the ball first down. 14.3 seconds left, and they're under 45. How much time to do much with? There's um, one timeout left. timeout left and he just burned it so uh, 14 seconds left and no timeout that uh, reduced their options somewhat coach much coach, coach must have seen something he didn't like there it's a pleasant run coach you're looking at there it's back to you Telling his players what he wants them to do. And the Warriors coach is across the field doing the same thing. Hey, Corey. What's up? Right. Good. Pleasant Run's going to try it again here. Oops, bad snap. Busted play. Can he, number 42 do anything with it? No, he's down. And the clock runs, and Pleasant Run is out of timeouts. So that will be the half. It's halftime. 
And the visiting Winton Woods Warriors have a six to nothing lead over the Pleasant Run Knights. We'll be back to restart the second half in about eight minutes. Hi, I'm Archie Griffin. Whatever the sport, wherever it's played, there's one thing the student athletes, coaches, and fans can all share, sportsmanship. The Ohio High School Athletic Association's Respect the Game campaign reminds us that school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. On behalf of the OHSAA, let's all do our part to make school sports a fun, positive, and rewarding experience that student athletes will remember for a lifetime. Every game, every time, let's all respect the game. All right, we're back here for the second half of our seventh grade game between the Pleasant Run Knights and the Winton Woods Warriors. Uh, first half uh, featured one score by the Winton Woods Warriors. It was a long touchdown pass caught by number 18. And beyond that, uh, there was a fair amount of action, but it mostly took place around midfield. And good runs, and good tackling. So the Winton Woods Warriors would start with the ball because they wanted to coin flip at the start of the game but deferred to take the ball in the second half. So there's no kickoff and they just start at the 35 yard line. Most of their success in the first half came running the ball to the outside. With a quick handoff inside and up to picked up five yards. Junior's ball return for the Warriors. It'll be second and four for the Warriors. Second down and about four. A quick handoff. Oh, didn't go too far. Maybe he picked up a yard. The Knights, who are wearing the yellow jerseys, uh, were pretty successful in the first half, uh, stopping the running up the middle. The Warriors had more of their success was going outside the tackles. Third and four play. Quarterbacks keeping it. Oh, he's got a first down. That was a good play. The Warriors got all the motion going to the right and then sent the quarterback all by himself out to the left. And the pursuit was going right. He went left. And he had a blocker in front of him creating interference. It was well done. Nice first down for the Warriors. up about four yards. Didn't look like much. We got four yards out of it. Now pitch to number 20. He's going to weave his way through some traffic and picked up a nice four yards. Maybe second six for the Warriors. First down. Hey, first down. Hitter number 20, and he got first down. Kelsey Spears Jr. was the ball carrier. 
Good that hole. Knock the defender down. Showed good speed, good quickness on that play. Quarterback kept at that time. Up the middle, picked up maybe a couple of yards. <clears throat> Take the handoff, kept it himself. The fans have started to trickle in. When we started this game, there was essentially nobody in the grandstands, but now we've we got 100 people, 100 plus out there. The eighth grade will, game will start immediately after this one. The eighth graders are out there warming up uh, on the field. The quarterback goes back. Oh, nice stiff arm. Oh, he's, look at that. He's creating yards out of nothing. That was, a, that was very good stuff. He came up a little short of the. The first down, but it was a yeah. Watch the stiff arm there. Oh yeah, yeah. quick guy. Not much there. The third and short. I do believe it's fourth and short. It'll be fourth and one for the Warriors. Well, it's actually a pretty big play here in the game. If uh, Pleasant Run could stop them and get a momentum shift, they might be able to turn this around. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Fourth and short. Warriors took a timeout. They want to talk about this. The coaching staff is out there meeting with the players. Once again, Knights fans, be sure to join us back here again on Friday night as the varsity Northwest Knights take on the Edgewood Cougars. Game time is 7 o'clock. And then we have the Pleasant Run coach. Discussing this with his players. Okay, here comes the fourth down play. Keeper. Now you got it. Oh, flag comes in. He had enough yardage for the first down. The quarterback just did a quick keeper. Well, the sideline warning against the Warriors. The quarterback. There's a penalty flag on that play. Indications of sideline warning or infraction against Wood Woods. Every time we go forward, he has the same referee to call the play. He called what? 80. I don't think 80 is a run. Okay. There's a sideline infraction called against the Warriors. Losing back. So now instead of fourth and less than a yard, it's now fourth and five.
Oh. And the quarterback, he's got it. He's got the first down. But he's an elusive character. Get the number eight out in the open field. He creates trouble for the Pleasant Run team. Quick, he weaves. Holds on to the ball. So if you're the head coach over at Winton Woods High School, you're thinking, boy, he's going to be on my team in a few years here. I'm excited about that. Another keeper. Picked up about four or five yards. Clock running. We're down under two minutes left in the third quarter. It'll be second and about five for the Woods. Second and five. Another quarterback keeper. He's going left. Yeah, this is this is the formula Winton Woods has decided is going to work is these quarterback keepers. Going both to the left and right. Clock is running. There's about 35 seconds left in the quarter. It's third and two. Another keeper. He's got it. No flag. Holding against the Warriors. The keeper. There was a hold there. There was a bigger hold. That's a hold. <laughs> yeah, that's a hold. <laughs> All right, that cost them 10 yards. Oh, another flag. Another penalty flag on the play. Another sideline infraction. Yeah. Yeah, the coach was protesting the hold. I don't think he had much of a uh, stand there. Much to stand on, but he's still jawboning one of the officials over there. Open man. An incomplete pass. For the moment I thought the Warrior was going to catch it, and then I thought maybe it was going to land in the hands of one of the Pleasant Run Knights. That's the end of the third quarter. The receiver was open there for a moment. It's too high for him, and I thought maybe one of those Pleasant Run Knights had a shot at it, but no. 
All right, that's the end of the third quarter. So it's still 6 0 here for the Winton Woods Warriors. Winton Woods Warriors a moment ago were down very close to the goal line, but they moved backwards thanks to some penalties. When we start the quarter here, it'll be fourth and 25 for the Warriors. Fourth and 25 for the Warriors. They try a long pass. Oh, we had, oh. It was in the receiver's hands. Came out. He would have come in short of the first down if he'd come down with it, but boy, it was almost there, almost there. All right, so the ball turns over. So it belongs to the Pleasant Run Knights now. And they're still down by six. Pleasant Run has done, had very little success on offense so far today. The Warriors have a lot of team speed on defense. They've pursued very well. And pitch out. He's got some open room. About five. Second and five now for a pleasant run. One man hand off to a second. Ups. That's that team speed speed on defense I was talking about. No flag. Sportsmanlike conduct. Uh, watch the running back here after the tackle. He gets up and slams the ball down, and that, that's the penalty. Number 84, I think. Oh, 
Move it. the Pleasant Run coach and uh, okay he's up he's moving he's a little shaken leaving the field now you know, glad to see him up on his feet He's in some discomfort, but he is moving along pretty well. Okay, we're fourth and five now for the Pleasant Run team. Oh, yeah. That's a great fail. The first down. And then some. Oh, look at that. Down to the 42 yard line. That, was a, that play is worthy of a replay. It's number 20. It was not a replay of what we just saw. Here it is, number 20. Dickerson. With A.J. Goins going left, <clears throat> Pleasant Run is suddenly stirring up a little dust here. Haven't done much on offense today, but suddenly they're waking up here a little bit. Number 84, the player who was hurt earlier, is back on the field. Passes to... No, I didn't go anywhere. Passed it to Goins and ran back in toward the middle and the Winwood's defenders came in and crushed him. And we're a third and about a little over 10, call 11. <clears throat> Dickerson. Didn't get the first down, but got some yards. So it'll make it fourth and it's called about four. This is a um, big play in the game. Doesn't run, doesn't done much on offense until now. They're down by six. Um, oh, oh, motion. Yeah, number 21 was running toward the line of scrimmage, and the ball was hiked. That's going to cost, it's uh, potentially a big penalty. Critical five years. Now watch. We'll see that there we go. Number 21 is running toward the line of scrimmage. But you can't be. Yeah. Oh, double handoff here. Trick play. Oh, it's short. Comes up just short. A fourth and eight. I think he's about a yard. Hand off, hand off. They almost pulled it off. They had blockers in front of him. But there it is. Oh, goodness. 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 
that I believe was number eight, the quarterback who, for the Warriors, who made that tackle. So, Warriors get the ball on downs. Warriors dodge it a little bit there because Pleasant Run almost made that first down. If they'd made that first down, we might have had a pretty interesting game here. But hey, anything can happen. When the Warriors have the ball. There's three minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. The Warriors can just rack up some first downs and hang on to the ball. We should be good to go here. down. Push by his own player forward. Yeah, let's call him down at about the 43-yard line in the pleasant run in. His own player is going to run up here and give him a shove. <laughs> For, give him more forward motion there. Now they called calling unsportsmanlike conduct against the Pleasant Run Knights. I didn't see that. We're going to talk about a turn of events here. Uh, Pleasant Run was down in the woods end, almost had their first down. And suddenly, Wynton Woods has zoomed down the field, and they're down on the 29-yard line of Pleasant Run. There's a big pitch. And another first down. Uh, outside pitched in... Dickerson, and they're starting to wear down Pleasant Run a little bit. These outside plays have required a lot of um, pursuit running on the part of the Pleasant Run Knights, and I think it's starting to take its toll on them. Keeper. Bounced off the defender. Uh, no, you got him. A lot of running around for get, to get back. I think he's down essentially back at the line of scrimmage. and 10 seconds left in the game. Quarterback keeper again. Oh. It's the uh, Bryce Bibbs for the Pleasant Run Knights made the tackle. It was a good tackle. If he hadn't made that tackle, I think the quarterback would have had many more yards. Okay, the Knights have called a timeout. Pleasant Run uh, needs to stop the Winton Woods. If the Winton Woods Warriors can score again here, the game would essentially be over. So the Pleasant Run Knights are going to do everything they can to prevent that from happening. 
Both teams still have two timeouts. Fourth and five. Casey Spears was well covered. Okay, pleasant run. Use another one of their timeouts. They're down to one. And this is a big, big play coming up here. Here's a replay of the third down play. Pitched out. Right there, they got the jersey. Okay, look at the touchdown happening in the first half. The only score of the game. Thunder fell down. They had a shot at that receiver. Big, strong receiver, you can see. Long legs. and Into the end zone. And that was it. That's the only scoring we've had today. And they're going to do the quarterback keeper. He's going in the middle. He's got the first down. I do believe. Where they mark him. That's the first down. All right, first and goal. That was, didn't make the first down by much. He made it by about a half yard to a yard. But it was, it was enough. The Warriors keep the ball. There's a minute 20, 20 left. And all the Warriors have to do is burn this clock down. Quarterback keeper, he's down. And Pleasant Run has one more timeout to burn. They didn't, did not use it. Now they do. Waited a few seconds to take it. I'm not quite sure why they did that, but uh, regardless, it's. Um, that's the end of their timeouts. All Winton Wood has to do is hang on to the ball. Run a couple of plays and hang on to the ball. It's going to be easier said than done, but if they can do it, they'll win the game. For a pleasant run, you have to be encouraged by their, their offense there in the fourth quarter. They, Hadn't done much, and they were able to suddenly get something going for near the end of the game. If we win Woods, you got to be very pleased with uh, how you've played. Your defense, in particular, has had a stellar game. All right, second goal from the 10 yard line. Down, but the clock runs and doesn't run, can't stop it. have to run one more play here. Yep, take the knee. That's the game. That is the game. Um, 
Fine performance by both teams. And the final score here, the first game of our doubleheader, is the Winton Woods Warriors six and the Pleasant Run Knights nothing. So it's just so thank you for joining us. And my name is Tom Hall and have a good day. Thank you for supporting Pleasant Run Night football with your presence here today. Have a safe drive home. Welcome to the...